that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. For Christ is a solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. Plant my feet, Lord. Somebody say, plant my feet. Come on, say with conviction. Plant my feet. I have a tendency to waver. But plant my feet, Jesus. Plant it, plant it. Plant my feet. Plant my feet. I don't want to waver because I know all day is sinking sand. I know all day is quicksand. But on you, Lord Jesus, you are the solid rock. Plant my feet, Lord Jesus. Plant my feet. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, your people, come before you recognizing your grace, your love, your mercy. God, you woke us up this morning. in our bodies the mental struggles that we have God the challenges on the job the challenges at home the challenges in the community oh God today we come to cast every care upon you Lord God God we come Lord to exchange our fear for the faith that we need to move forward. God, I ask of you today, let your people, oh God, experience the touch of God in their lives right now. God, I pray that they would receive uh, a peace that passes understanding. God, that they would receive an assurance of faith that it is well that you will not leave them nor forsake them. In other words, you will not abandon your people, oh God. Father, I pray there are family issues. There is that, that struggle, that ongoing struggle, oh God, that some families face. But we ask of you, Lord God, today to make a way. God, to bring victory, to bring deliverance. Where the deliverance 
is needed, oh God. God, it has been a long time. But God, you will not leave us. Your word is true and it is forever settled in heaven. Oh God, I come today and unite my faith. Father God, even for our loved ones that are not saved and have not made that commitment, yes, God, that you would draw them by your Holy Spirit. God, and let them realize the hour is late, that they hear your voice and would not no longer harden their hearts. But just as I am, the songwriter says, without one plead, but that thy blood was shed for me. And as thou bidst me come, O oh Lamb of God, I come today. Father, save our families. Save our children. Save our sons and daughters, our nieces and nephews. Some husbands need to be saved, oh God. Some wives need to be saved, oh God. Some aunts need to be saved. Some uncles need to be saved. God, some co-workers need to be saved, oh God. We stand in the gap today and we call them, oh God. Call them out of darkness into the marvelous light, we pray. Draw them by your spirit, we pray. In the name of Jesus, we ask, oh God. Father, we ask of you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, for those in our midst and for those that have joined us on Facebook Live, Whatever their pressing need is today, you said you will be right there. You will hear and you will answer. And we believe it by faith this morning that the prayer of the righteous avails much. And then, Father, there was this man that I, I met, this homeless man this morning on my way to your house who was reaching out for arms and he said pray for me if you're going to church sir pray for me I call him by name his name is Richard he said pray for Richard father I pray for Richard even though he recognized your mercies I lift him up to you today that he would not only recognize it, but there will be a 180 degree turn and surrender of his entire life to you. That God, you will make that difference to save and to deliver him. In Jesus' name, we pray for your servant this morning that will come. We pray for a special anointing, a special word that you place in his heart today. Speak by him. Speak that we may say, yes, Lord. Yes, thy servant, hear it be. Bless your servant and bless the continuance of this service. We ask in Jesus' name. May the church say amen. Amen.
Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Praise God, I kept hearing my spirit roll back the curtain of memory. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Lord, see where you have brought us from and where we are. Hallelujah. Ah, Jesus, sometimes we just need to just reflect on the goodness of God. Amen. Ah, Jesus, Lord Jesus, sometimes we get so comfortable, oh God, with all the materialistic things of this life. And we tend to forget. Hallelujah. But roll back, Lord. Roll back the curtains of memory, Lord God. In our lives. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, so we can get excited for you, Lord. Comes what may. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We never doubt him. We'll always trust him. Amen. 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 Malachi 3. Hallelujah. It's time for tithes and offering. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy, you're worthy. You're worthy. Mm. How many times we fail you, Lord, uh, but you never fail us. But nevertheless, Lord Jesus, uh, we will continue to praise you. Hallelujah, glory, 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 glory to God. Ah, uh, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Uh, Malachi 3, reading from verses 6, uh, Time for tithes and offering, amen. Uh, giving back to the Lord that portion that he requires, amen. And as you do, we ask you not to forget to whisper, amen. Uh, hallelujah, those who give it to the Lord, lend it, hallelujah. Do give it to the poor, lend it to the Lord, amen. Uh, and I know he gives back, oh God, with very good interest, amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. Jump on your feet when you can for me, please. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, God, he's worthy. Somebody shout thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, ah, whatever state you find yourself in, uh, you can give him thanks. Uh, whatever state you find yourself in, um, you can praise him, Lord Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. Ah, Jesus, he said, for I am the Lord. I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your father, you're gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But he said, Wherein shall we return? Will a man rob God? Hallelujah, yet he have robbed me. But he said, Wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and in offering? Ye are cursed with a curse, where ye have robbed me, even this old nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now. Here we say, the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, said the Lord of hosts. And all nations shall call you blessed. For he shall be a delightsome land, say the Lord of hosts. Amen. Lord, we give you thanks this afternoon. 
Lord, we praise you, Father. Hallelujah. First, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord God, that you have enabled us, Lord God, to work, Lord, and that you have given us jobs. Uh, Lord, we thank you for strength, Lord. Uh, oh, God, that we, Lord Jesus, can maintain those jobs, Lord. Uh, oh, Father, we don't take it light, Lord, but we give you thanks. Uh, Lord God, we thank you for the source of income. We thank you for our, oh God, our employers, Lord. We give you thanks to them, Lord. Oh God, so you bless them, Lord God. Cause the blessing to trickle down unto us uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and oh God, as we come in obedience this afternoon to give back unto you, uh, you said, oh God, men shall give us good measures, press down, uh, shaken together shall be in our bosoms. Uh, and we thank you, Lord. We thank you for favors, favors. We thank you for opening up door, open doors, Lord. We thank you, oh God, for funds that has been held up, Lord God, will be returned in the name of Jesus. And oh God, we just give you thanks, Lord, for all that you have done for us, that you are doing and that you are going to do. Oh God, we thank you for even greater doors that you may open for us to walk through. Those of us who are those that are seeking better jobs, Lord. We are God by faith. We say thank you for it. And Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that as we come to give back unto you that portion, Lord, it will be stored in a godly manner, Lord, for the upbuilding of your kingdom and for the furtherance of your gospel. In the name of Jesus, God, hallelujah. Oh, God, let the funds, oh God, let the tithes and the offering, oh God, be used in a way that bring, that pleases you. Father God, I pray for those who have not uh, because of circumstances, Lord. Uh, I pray for those that are call waiting on you, Lord God, for jobs uh, that you will make a way for them, Lord God. Um, and Father God, I just give you thanks. Uh, I give you praise this afternoon and I give you glory. Father, bless your people, Lord God, uh, as they come to give back unto you. Make a way for them, Lord. Uh, and Lord, we will be careful to give you the thanks, uh, give you the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Have your way, Lord. Uh, have your way. Have your way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Open up doors for the jobs, Lord. The jobs, the jobs. Open up doors, Lord. Open up doors. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You're in the hands of the hushes and you, cause you come. Remember that God loves a cheerful and an hilarious giver. Amen. 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 I will give unto the Lord. He has given unto me. I will give unto the Lord. For he has given unto me. I will give unto the Lord. For he has given unto me. And bless me abundantly. Oh, I will give unto the Lord.
Praise God. Hallelujah. At this time, Evangelist Jean is coming to you with the announcements. Amen. Make her welcome as she comes, please. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Just a few reminders for the announcements. Please keep our weekly prayer line in mind. So please bear in mind the weekly prayer line and every first Saturday of each month at 7, 7 a.m. We also have prayer. So please keep that in mind as well and please join whenever you can. Amen. Next Saturday, which is uh, August 19th, we'll be having a closing drive in the parking lot, sim similar to what we had um, last year. So next Saturday, August 19th, we'll be having a closing drive. So please keep that in mind. We are looking for um, items, items that are in very good condition. So please if you have items, please bring them in, and also hangers. So please, again, we're looking for items in good condition and hangers. If you do have the, we also need some assistance, so if you can assist in whatever way you can, there's a sign-up sheet in the foyer, so please um, sign your name to it if you can give some assistance in whatever way you can, amen? Any questions, please see Evangelist Winter. Amen. Please bear in mind our upcoming Sight and Sound, trip to Sight and Sound, September 23rd, Saturday, September 23rd. We'll be going to Pennsylvania. So again, please keep that in mind. If you have not yet given your names, please give your name to Evangelist Winter or Pastor Thelma. So please bear these announcements in mind. Any additional announcement, Pastor Thelma will fill you in. Praise God. Thank you very much, Evangelist Jean. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. And, uh, this next Sunday, the 13th, uh, immediately after church, those who can go with us, we will be going to all nations. Amen. Their memorial service for the First Lady Finn at 3 o'clock. So immediately after church next week, we will be heading over there to join with them at 3 o'clock, the memorial services. Amen. Uh, with regards to the bus ride, amen, we have, uh, we have had above the capacity of the, the, the accommodation on the bus. Amen. 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 So what we will be doing is first come, first serve. Amen. If you haven't paid any money on your bus trip or you haven't paid anything and others come in with their money, we will be going that route. Amen. First come, first serve. The bus, uh, as you know, is taking off on the 23rd and I have to wrap up with the different, different uh, companies by the end of this month. So I'm asking all those who are going, please make your payment by the end of August. Amen? Please bear that in mind. And as I said, we will have to do some process of elimination because we have maybe over 60 people and the bus on the whole 55. So we'll be going first come, first serve. Amen? So please bear that in mind and start making your payment. Amen? Glory to God. If all minds are clear, amen, hallelujah, it's time for the word. Somebody said the word. The word, hallelujah, glory to God. The word coming from you this afternoon by from Pastor Robert. You may stand up and receive, amen. And receive him, amen, hallelujah. Pastor Robert, congregation, congregation, Pastor Robert.
with thanksgiving. I be a Jesus, oh God, we just thank you, prepare us to be a sanctuary, oh, for you, oh God, yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus, we give honor to the Spirit of the Lord, we give honor to Pastor Thelma, and I continue to repeat it, and it continues to be my theme the neck on which my head turned. Praise God. Thank God for her. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank God for her every day. We continue to bless her and uh, continue to strengthen her and order her steps, hold her hand and guide her feet all the way. Praise God. And I give God thanks for the ministers in the house, minister Elmina, Minister Byron, Minister Joe, we give God the praise for you all. No mothers, Mother Hamilton, Mother Davis in her absence. The people of God in the house of the Lord, oh, all you in your various offices, praise God, I give God thanks and praise for you. Praise God, amen, 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 amen. Thank God for you that are joining us via Facebook Live today. Praise God. Amen. Oh God, we just give God the praise. God is able more than enough. Oh yes, praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Turn in your Bibles at this time with me. First Peter chapter 1 verse 13 to 16. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13 to 16. Read thus, got it? Say amen when you find it. Amen. Read thus. You got it all? Everybody got it? You got it on your phone? You got it in the Bible? Okay, good. It said, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. Be ye sober, hope to the end, for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourself according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as ye which hath called you is holy. So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. My God, hallelujah. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Father, we thank you for your words. Illuminate your words to our hearts. O God, come and have your way. Let my intellect be seated, and I'm only using me only as an instrument through which you would speak to the heart of your people, my God. And when it's all said and done, let your words accomplish its intended purpose in their lives. 
and the glory and the honor and all the praise be given to your name. We just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's a song we sing, Holiness is that all you long for. Holiness is what you want. Holiness. And I want to use today, be ye holy. Be ye holy. Verse 16 towards the end. I use that last sentence. Be ye holy for I am holy. Be ye holy. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God is holy. He's a holy God. And what is true of God must be true of us, his people. Holiness is to be separated from the ungodly ways of the world and to be set apart for love and for service and for worship and for the worship of God. Holiness is the goal and purpose of our election in Christ. For each day we are being molded and shaped. Ephesians 1 and 4 said, According to as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, hmm, that we should be what? Holy and without blame before him in love. Therefore it means to be like God and being dedicated to him while living to please him. Holiness, holiness, holiness. Holiness uh, cannot be accomplished in the flesh. The flesh is sin. Holiness has to be do with the spirit of the man, of us. It is accomplished by the spirit of God who cleanses our soul from sin. By the Spirit of God who renews us in the image of Christ. By the Spirit of God who enables us by an infusion of grace to obey God according to his word. Galatians 5 and 16 declare this. This I say then. This I say then. Walk in the Spirit. And you will not fulfill what? The lust of the flesh. Huh? But the fruit of the Spirit. Praise God. The fruit of the Spirit, 22 to 25 of Galatians 5 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. And they that are in Christ has crucified the flesh with the affection and the lust. If we live in the spirit, oh, let also walk in the spirit. Holiness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Holiness is one of the essential elements of God's character, of his nature, and it's required of his people. Holiness may also be be, 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 be rendered at what? Sanctification. Or godliness. The word holy denotes that which is sanctified or set apart for s divine service. So you are holy, but you are set apart, called out, set apart. The, 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 the ecclesia, you are set apart for service to God. That's why I said, do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Don't go back there where doubt arise and fear dismay. I take you away from that already. Don't start worrying and fret about life. Worry and fret won't bring you out. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him. And he shall die path. So you're set apart. You're taken out. God is working in you. God instructs Moses uh, 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 to consecrate Aaron and his son 
in Exodus 29 and 9 to the priesthood. They were set apart. The children of Israel were admonished to remember the Sabbath day and to keep it holy in Exodus 20 and 8. The holies of holies was the most sanctified place in the desert tabernacle and the temple at Jerusalem, Exodus 23 and, and 33. Hebrew 9, 1 to 9, talk about the great crowd. It said the, the great prophet, and in, and in Hebrew 9 and 29, the great prophet Elijah was called a holy man of God. 2 Kings 4 and 9, the powerful Herod, King Herod, called John the Baptist, a just and holy man in Mark 6 and 20. In Mark 6 and 20, righteousness. The man, the, the God righteous nature. Okay, it is used to describe God righteous nature or his ethical um, righteousness, which is demanded of his followers. Jesus spoke to his disciples, and he talked about the holiness that he required of them. He don't want it to be like those of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. You know, praise God, amen, in Matthew 12 and 7. Praise God, amen. Holiness is a unique quality of God's character. Who is like unto thee, O God? There is none holy like the Lord. Hmm? Who shall not fear you, O Lord, for you alone are worthy. You alone are holy. Now, who is like unto thee? To clear Samuel 22 and Samuel 20 and 2. I'm sorry, 2 and 2. Who shall fear God for you alone are holy? Revelation 15 and for God, I expectation of his people flow out of his holy nature. For you shall be a kingdom of priests. Oh yes, Peter, as you read on, if you read further into Second Peter, he tell you who that. For ye are what? A chosen generation, a nine, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a peculiar people that he should what? Show forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Praise God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we have not accomplished holiness, but we have been made holy on a daily basis. And how do we do this? By renewing our mind on a daily basis. By staying in before God on a holy basis. That by, 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 by being obedient to the word of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Being willing to be used of God. Be willing to lay aside the weight that so easily beset us. Be, 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 oh, God, be willing to, 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 be, to, 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 to forget the past and press toward the price of the, the mark of the price of the eye calling in, of God in Christ Jesus. Oh, God, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, we want to move into holiness. Holiness is what it's all about. God is taking us to the place where he's making us, oh, God, what he wants us to be. We talked last week about his purpose and his plan for our life. It's, oh, then we realize what his plan and purpose is, is to make us into a holy people. Holy. Holy. Holy, please God, hallelujah. Where we don't go back to the muck and the mire. Where there's something different about you. Where you are separated and set apart. Not that you think yourself higher than others, no. But there is certain things. The old things are passed away and all things have become new. 
your newness, your God, hallelujah, your new creation, your brand new person. There's something about you, Jesus on the inside, working on the outside, hallelujah. That's what he wants us to be. He's making us into his own image and likeness. It, we are being redeemed. You see, sin had left a crimson stain, and he washed it white as snow. Talk about being holy. Be ye holy. Yes, you can be holy in this sinful world. Because holiness doesn't depend on you. It's the blessed Holy Spirit that makes us holy. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. It has to be a spiritual thing. Holiness doesn't mean you go and you fix the face and you put on all the makeup and all that. No, 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 no. no. See, that's not what it's all about. It's about a mindset. Oh, by the way, your mind. Oh, God, you have to renew the mind. It's the mind. Oh, God, it's where, oh, God, you make decision to do what you want to do. It's where you got to renew. You got to make, oh, yield that to the Holy Spirit to move and have his way. Hallelujah. Oh, God, hallelujah. Holiness. When you realize you want to know, when you know that you know that you know that you're moving into holiness, is when certain things you do, it bother you and you cannot have night you have restless night because the Holy Spirit in you is convicting you and you're realizing your conviction and you turn and you repent that's being holy that's holiness is when you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God when you're not justifying your action as right because you have a right to do it. But you give up your right and say, Lord, not my will, but thy will. Let it be done. Hallelujah, Jesus. It's your will, Lord. Oh, God, no, it's not about me. It's all about you. Oh, God, I know I have a right to do this, you know. Because by law, it says I have the right. But God, because you are God, hallelujah, and you are not man, Oh, because your ways are past finding out. I'm going to yield my right. And I'm going to say, Lord, not my will, but thy will. Let it be done. <laughs> ah, God, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. He alone is holy. He alone is holy. Like the prophet Amos. My God. Hallelujah. Ah, and Jose. Jesus appealed for more than just ceremonial holiness. He desired mercy. Huh? Not just on the outward path. Not sacrifice, he said. But he desired mercy. Jose 6 and 6. Could you put it up for me? Jose 6 and 6. Praise God, amen. For I desire what? Mercy. Not sacrifice. And the knowledge of God more than what? Burnt offering. Can you get to that place? Where you desire, you see? For I desire not mercy and, sac and not sacrifice. For I desire mercy and not sacrifice. And the knowledge of God more than burnt offering. Praise God, hallelujah. When we realize that it's not the outward thing that we do. And the outward thing will come later, but it has to start inside. For when God is working on the outside, in the inside, he, you will see it on the outside. Oh God, Jesus on the inside. Working on the outside. What a great change in me. And it will show in your behavior. It will show in your interaction. 
It will show in the way that you speak. It will show in the way that you behave. It will show in the way that you live. Praise God. Leviticus 20 and 7 declare. Leviticus 20 and 7. Could you put it up for me? Sanctify yourself, therefore, and be ye holy. For I am holy. For I am the holy, I'm the Lord, your God. For I am the Lord, your God. Sanctify yourself, therefore, and be ye holy. For I am the Lord, your God. We have to be cleaned up. Holiness require that we, God said, holiness without which no man shall see God. You want to see him? You want to look upon the face? On the street of glory? Huh? Be he holy. Be ye holy. Be ye holy. Be right on the inside. Be right in your heart. Be right in your mind. Hallelujah. Be ye holy. Serve God with your heart. Serve God. Oh, yes, it's an art thing, people of God. It's not just outward, it's inside. We can say all the right things. And sometimes we do a lot of right stuff. But what about the state of our heart? How is it? How is the art? That's what he wants. He don't look at the outward appearance, but he judges the art. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. So, we have to grow into the likeness of God. Oh, God. We are must be and being consecrated for his use. Hey. We, we, the theme of sanctification are growing into the likeness of God. It, it, it's all throughout the Bible. You can see it. And being consecrated for his use. He set apart Moses, Aaron and his son. He set apart David. Although David sinned, his sins were washed away. And people might say, why did God choose David? He, didn't, he, he, didn't he commit adultery with Bathsheba? Yes, he did. But what? He repented. That's the key. We must have repentant heart. Some of us never repent in our heart. We hold Jesus and, and he is God of everything. But in our heart, we need God to do a work. We need him to, to, to clean up our art. Give him your art. Let him have his way. We have to let go and let God. Let God do what only he can do. Ah, Jesus, hallelujah. Because truth be told, we have no control over some stuff. But when we give it to Jesus, he'll turn our sorrow into joy. Ah, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we are urging on in the text by Peter. Oh, God, he urged the people. It was written to the people of the Roman Empire when it was written then, but it is as so applicable today in our day. Oh, God, because it said in our text, he urged the Christian of the Roman Empire to follow God's example. That's whose example in, in our trial. <laughs> we didn't say child won't come if you try to be holy or if you're holy. Child will come. Testing will come. Oh, yes. Testing going to come. I hear somebody say, I must say of the Lord. He is my refuge. In him will I trust. Yes. 
In him will I trust. Some trust in chariot. Hey! Some trust in horses. But I will remember the name of my God. He is a warrior. Yes, he is mighty. In him will I trust. In him will I trust. So when the trials come, trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. When the testing come, trust in the Lord. When the enemy come in like a Blood, remember you must put your faith in God and him alone. For he said in his word that when the enemy come in like a flood, he will raise up that standard. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, we have to keep his word in our heart. Hallelujah. Oh, God, darkness is all over us. Oh, God, darkness is all around us. Oh, God, but I hear the word of God saying, Hallelujah, the entrance, the very entrance of his word, give it light, hallelujah. He'll lighten the way we go, hallelujah, for his word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. So as we strive, as we continue to let the Holy Spirit melt us, mold us, shape us, hallelujah, because you see, oh God, it's our testing, it's our trials, it's our affliction, hallelujah, that shape us, it create character in us. Oh, yes it is, it create character. Oh God, ah, uh, uh, if I didn't have a problem, I would not know that God could solve them. I do, wouldn't know what faith in God could do. If I didn't have some difficulties as I travel a long life journey, it's not about the shoot. Life is filled of battles, disappointment, setbacks, trouble. But God, with God on our side, we cannot be denied. Oh, my God, if God is for us, who can be against us? Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, yes, he's molding us. Be old. Just stay on the battlefield. Keep Jesus in the, as oh, God in view. Oh, God, let him continue to be your source of deliverance. Mm -hmm. Don't seek deliverance no other place. <laughs> I think it was touched on yesterday in that, in that prayer meeting about Saul. Saul didn't, wasn't contented with, with, with what God can do or to just trust in God. But Saul, when everything seemed to be falling apart around him, after Samuel died, Saul, who walked, who knew the power of God, has experienced God's power. Has experienced God in his, in his awesome deliverance power. Saul, the king, would disguise himself and went to seek advice from a witch to the beggarly element of the earth. And you got a holy God that used to seek his face. Be ye holy. Be he holy. If God can't do it, it can't be done. 
We are told to come out from among them and be separate. And touch not the unclean thing. Who advises you? Get your advice from the Lord. Nobody can give me my future because my future is tied up in Jesus. And it's who I look to. The ill from whence cometh my end. The one that is my everything. Oh, glory be. The one who direct my path. The one who order my steps. Hallelujah. For I have his word hidden in my heart. And when things come, and when, 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 when things come against my mind, I can say, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I can say, hallelujah, for no weapon that form against me shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against me in judgment, I shall condemn. The word of God. Hidden in your heart. Recall. Will take you through whatever you go through. Going through. When my body is afflicted. Doctor give up on me. I know who have the final say. Oh what does the Lord say? I shall live and not die. And declare the works of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God. You see you see how the Holy Spirit will. will, will we, we will put the word. Keep that word of God. I think David caught it real good. Oh, and he said, oh, we are to hide in 119 and 11. Hide the word of God in your heart that you might not sin against him. Oh, glory be to God because truth be told, things can come at us in such a way that we want to pass out of it. We don't want to stay in there for long. But I understand that in the valley, something is going on. I understand when I'm going through my rough passage, God is working out his purpose. For all things work together for good to them that love God and those who are the call according to his purpose. I'm an overcomer. I'm a victor. I'm not a victim. And that's why I love Brother Paul. I love him so much. Oh, God, because I, I don't know about you, but Minister Joe, but for me, he's the greatest apostle. The greatest. Yes, Peter preached the inaugural service on the day of Pentecost, but for Paul, he's the greatest apostle. He's been through some stuff. Oh, God, he's been down some road, but he, he's continued to remain holy. Oh, glory be to God. He maintained his integrity. Yeah. And that's something we have to do. When we are in some situation, maintain your integrity. Lean not to your own understanding. See, when, when we start straying, from the trust that we have in God is when we try to fix the business ourselves and don't let God do it. I have to take care of this. No, let God fix it for you. He knows just what to do. And when he fixes it, it is well fixed. It is well fixed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. Ah, so we must, we must come in adherence to the word of God. Oh, we must come in, in to be holy. We must come in adherence to the word of God. It must be hidden in our heart. Praise God. We must come in adherence to the leading of the Holy Spirit as stated in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. And what does that say? 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. Therefore, if any man being Christ is what? A new? Oh God, hallelujah. All things? All things? Hmm, and behold, all things have become new. Ah, Jesus, hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. I tell you, you must, you must be led by the Spirit, the leading of the Holy Spirit. Listen to what it said in Ephesians 4, 22. To, to, to 24, what it says. Ephesians. You see, Ephesians 4, 22 to 24. 
What? Read it. I don't want to be reading all the time and everybody think he just that he said he, he said that he put off concerning the former conversation or behavior, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. And what we should be of what? Oh, the mind. You see the importance of that? Renew. The old mind cannot serve God. This, the old mind going to go back to the beggarly element. But the spirit of our mind must be renewed to be holy. Oh, glory be to God. Oh God, he tell us that we have to do some putting off. Oh God, putting off, put off that old man. Oh God, with his worry and his, and, and, and his concern, put him off, put him off. That everything he wants to fix himself. No, put, give it all to Jesus. And he will turn your sorrow into joy. Hallelujah. Put off the old man concerning the conversation, former conversation. Uh, your old behavior. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Put on the new man, which is after God. The new man is after God. It's created in righteousness and true holiness. True holiness. Not a form of holiness, but true holiness. Hmm. The old man is a sinful nature of the flesh. It is carnal. It is dead in its trespasses. All the righteousness of the old man is like filthy rags. We are to discard it. We are to put it off. Put it away from us. Hallelujah. The old man is contaminated. It is infected. It is rotten. It is corrupt. We are to put on the new man. New man. Is renewed in what? Knowledge. In knowledge after the image of him that created him. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. The new man is the new man is of the spirit. The new man make us alive in Christ. Hello. Or quicken us. The new man gives us new life. Gives life everlasting. The new man is a living organism. The old man is dead in his trespasses, but the new man is a living organism. The new man opened the spiritual, hallelujah, Jesus, eyes, our spiritual eyes that we can see. Praise God, hallelujah. Oh, the new man take the things of God and reveal it to us. Oh, God. Ah, Jesus, the new man assure us of our new creation in Christ. The new man assure us that the old things, they are passed away, and that all, but not, and that all, not some, but all things have become new. As believers, we must display in our behavior that we really have put off the old man and put on the new man. And I mentioned it at outset, I will repeat it. But when we begin to truly yield our will to God, it is our evidence of the new man operating in you and I. When we begin to truly yield our will to the will of God and allowing our minds to, uh, to be renewed and live a life of righteousness and true holiness. When we allow our spirit to be subjected to the spirit of God, when we really, our spirit, filled, spirit-led, and spirit-driven when we are spirit-controlled. We have to live in the spirit. We must live in the spirit to be holy. Oh, it's a daily thing. It's not a just... Holiness doesn't mean just, just a one-time thing but it's a continuous thing until death. Until death, they have been made. Look, look, each day you're renewed. Each day, each day, each day, each day. 
But because you know what, people of God, truth be told, truth be told, we all sin on a constant basis. Every one of us, no none exempt. We sometimes express doubt in our God that we serve by some of the things that we do. But if we really trust him, oh God, hallelujah, hear what Hebrew 12 and 14 declares. Hebrew 12 and 14 said, follow peace with all men, not some, all. <laughs> Oh, and holiness. Hello. Without which no man shall see God. I like that. Follow peace with all men. Strive to have peace and not, oh, oh God, peace. You know what peace is like? I hear somebody say, when peace. Like a river attended my way. When sorrows like sea billows roll. Whatever my love oh, was taught me to say, it is well, it is well. With my soul. Hey, hey, hey. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory be to God. When, when we can say it as well. Oh, God, in, in, in spite of the hell that is breaking loose around us. And what the enemy is throwing at us. It is well. Hey, glory be to God. It is well. My whole world is crashing around me, but it is well. The storm are raging. The strong winds are blowing, but it is well. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, hallelujah. So, when men attack us, I know character, we can just say, Lord, it is well. It is well. Oh, God, you said, because, you see, you have to hold your peace and let the Lord. This battle is not yours. Let me tell you, that whatever we as saints go through is not our battle. It is the Lord's. Whatever we as believers go through, it's not our battle. It is the Lord's. The enemy is fighting the God in us. He's not fighting you and I. He's fighting the God in you. For Christ in you is the hope of glory. That's who he's after. Oh God, hallelujah. Oh God, we must live peaceably with all men. We are not to stir up strife. or under with, Oh God, hallelujah. And that can be done in many ways. We can make some little underhand comments and our behavior can stir up strive. We have to strive to be holy. Oh God, without which no man shall see God. Let me emphasize in closing, let the, this holiness of God be in us. Oh God, we must sanctify ourselves. We must purify. We are purified and transformed by the re washing of the blood of Jesus. Oh God, renewed by the washing of the blood of our Lord and the, oh, of G oh God and the energizing power of the blessed Holy Spirit. Oh God, is there? He is making us into holiness. He is creating us a new creature. He is working on us. We are, we are all in the processing. Business. We are being processed on a daily basis. We are not a finished product. <laughs> Let me explain that to you. We are not. You are not a finished product. I am not a finished product. Pastor Telma is not a finished product. Maybe you have some finished product in the house, but we are not a finished product. And we know that we are being made into God's likeness on a daily basis. Daily basis. And until you leave this earth, 
you are being processed, processed, processed. It's an ongoing thing. Oh God, it's an ongoing thing. So let us try to be holy. Somebody said, bow down and worship him. You know why you bow down? Because no sin can stand in the presence of God. Oh, glory. We, when we bow, we are submitting ourselves. We are surrender all to him. Oh, God, we are saying you are Lord of all and over all. Oh, glory be to God. We bow down and we worship him. Oh, we are just entering into his presence with thanksgiving. Into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Oh, God, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God, it is such a good thing. Joshua said to Israel in the 24th chapter of Joshua, verse 15, Choose this day whom you will serve. You see, it's a choice. You can choose to be holy or you can choose not to be. You can choose to serve God or not to. It's a will. God gave you, give you and I the freedom of choice. You have a freedom of choice. It's up to you. One thing I want to let you know that God always have an outstretched hand towards humanity. He always have salvation extend to us. It's for us to take it. If we don't get up from where we are, if we don't make a decision, when I mean get up, I mean make a decision in your heart to take it, you won't get it. And the only way you can get it is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The only way you can get it is to, is to confess, to believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and you shall be saved. Because the word of God says, with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, but with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. And that's a one-on-one. -on -one. You can't do it for your child. You can't do it for your grandchildren. You can't do it for nobody. Every man has to make it for himself. Every one of us has to do that for ourselves. Praise God. That, this is the one. This is how salvation is important. It must be a one-on-one. -one. Nobody can save you. You have to cry out in repentance before God. As though we love our children, we love them so much. I love my, my offspring. And I would wish all of them were saved. But I can't save nobody. They have to accept the free gift that's been given. It's already paid. You know what? The price was paid way long ago. And it's for them to accept it. And it's been extended. And if you don't do that, you can go to church, be good at two shoes, you can give to the poor, you can do all you want to do, but you won't make it into heaven. You could be the best, trip, uh, trilam, uh, what, what do you call that? Uh, philanthropist. You could be the best philanthropist there is. You can do everything that is right. Oh, that man was such a good man. He take care of the community. He do this. He take care of the poor. He feed the poor. He give the clothes the poor. He do everything. But did he accept Jesus as Lord? That's the key. You can work your way to heaven. You can give your way to heaven. You must confess with your mouth. And believe in your heart. Oh God, that God raised Jesus from the dead and you shall be saved. Oh God, don't let this day go by. He's here in the house extending to all salvation. You never, never, ever, and you on Facebook, right where you are, right where you are, you might be on the beach looking at us, you might be in your house looking at us, wherever you are. 
salvation being extended to you. God wants to make it. He, need, he, he said we are a holy nation. You know that's what he called us? A holy nation. A peculiar people. Royal priesthood. That is called out of darkness and placed into this marvelous light. To show forth his glory. Praise God. So if wherever you are, Jesus is standing at the door and knock. Accept him. Let him come in. Let him come in and have his way. Let him come in and do what only he can do. Only he can clean you up. Where, uh, whatever wrong of life you are on, he can change your, your situation and circumstances. He will turn it around for you. Sooner or later, it will turn in your favor. Or he'll do it again for you. How he has done it for me. He's no respecter of person. And he will do it for you. Oh yes, oh yes. And he's still working on me. I'm a work in progress. All of us is a work in progress. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. He's in the house. Jesus is here. He wants us to be holy. Yes, holiness is something that we must all strive to do. Oh God, just let this mind be in us that was also in Christ Jesus. It's so important. That is a very important thing for us to be. Let this mind be in us that was also in Christ Jesus. It's so important. We must strive to be holy. Oh, we let the word of God. If you hold, keep the word of God, have it in your heart. If you continue to focus on him, if you continue to let him be your, your light in darkness, if you let him be the lamp unto your feet and the light to your path, if you let him hold your hands and guide your feet, oh man, he, you're gonna, you'll be surprised to see what he, uh, he will do for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. That don't mean you don't live in a world of sin. Yes, you do. That don't mean you're an holy roller. Because you have to be an antenna of terra firma. You have, you, that don't mean you're going to go in a closet and hide yourself. No. But what he's saying is that when you take the, take the word of God wherever you go, you've got to take his word with you. You know what? You don't keep it to yourself. You share it. Some of us want to go to heaven all by ourselves not about that. Because he said to show forth, he called us holy nation, peculiar people, royal priesthood, call out of darkness into his marvelous light. But there's a reason that we may show to men and women around us in this world is, oh, show forth his glory. That they may see the Jesus in us and want some. <laughs> want him to be Jesus in their lives. So the, like I said, Holiness, God, when God gives you strength and how you behave and act, praise God, amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We're going right to the communion phase of our service. Praise God, amen. Amen, amen. Uh, we make a pledge and we're going to stick to it. Praise God, amen. Amen. And I see it start taking some, it start getting... Right there, I, I see it, and I know that those of you that know where I'm coming from understand what it is. God has been so good. We're going to read, we're going to go into the communion service right now. For I have received of the Lord, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 23. Could you stand as we read his word? Praise God. It said, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he brake it, and he said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament, in my blood, 
This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. I want to read that. But let a man examine himself. Look into yourself. Have I been right with God? Do I have a right relationship with him? Do I need to confess my sin again to him? To him, I didn't say to me or any of us, but to him, quietly in your heart. You can do that. <laughs> oh, for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when he had judged, he had chastened of the Lord, that he should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that he come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order. When I come. The rest will I set in order when I come. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word. God, as we stand in your presence. Oh God, we ask you, Lord, to search us all in this house and know our heart. Try us and know our thoughts. Cleanse us from sin of commission and omission. Lord, we pray, God, hallelujah, Jesus, that, oh, God, hallelujah, you will renew this man in us, my God, and let the man that was in Christ Jesus be also in us, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we confess our shortcomings. Lord, we confess every sin, Lord, thoughts and action sin, words sin, whatever it may be, we confess it, oh, God. God, renew our minds, clean us up, apply the blood again to the lentil post of our hearts. So we said, create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. In the name of Jesus. And like David, we said, Lord, against thee and thee only have we sinned. Oh God, so we ask, Lord, that you clean us up. Accept our repented prayer. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we sometimes doubt you. Forgive us for doubting. Lord, be some time, oh God. Oh God, hallelujah, Jesus, exercise in patience. Forgive us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Have your way now. Bless these emblems. And let them, oh God, oh God, oh God, if you said in, in the, with the broken, the, for the wafers, oh God, a representative of your body, O oh God, for the, O oh God, the juice of the vine is representative of the shed blood. O oh God, and we know, O oh God, that you, you bled and died in our place at Calvary, and healing and deliverance is in the blood. So we give you the praise, we give you the glory, and we give you all the honor in Jesus' name.
Another spot, let bless his blood, the most precious blood, for it was the sin of man. For it
God, it will never lose. It will never Hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. that 
thought about us, Lord. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, you paid that price, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, God, when he was on the cross, you and I was on his mind. When he was on the cross that day you and I was on his mind. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you thanks, Lord. We praise you. Father, we thank you for the word, Lord God. Be holy, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, something, oh, God, that Christians take lightly. But you come to remind us this afternoon, oh, God, uh, of the importance of us to be holy. Oh, Jesus, oh, God, us maintaining our integrity lord uh, and maintaining whose we are lord jesus thank you father thank you lord thank you god we thank you lord jesus we strive for holiness unto which no man shall see you lord <laughs> Ah, Jesus, you said 99 and a half won't do, Lord. So, God, I pray this afternoon, Lord Jesus, that you give us the strength, the strength, Lord Jesus, to stand and have in all stand, Lord Jesus, for Jesus, maintaining holiness. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your servant, Lord, that bring the word, oh God. Father God, hallelujah, Jesus, we ask you to bless him. We ask you to cover him, Lord Jesus. We ask you to grant him strength, Lord God. It is not an easy task, Lord God, but somebody, Lord, somebody, hallelujah, Jesus, have to do it, Lord, and we just give you thanks and and I ask, ask you that you bless him and you keep him, Lord. And you continue, Lord Jesus, to give him fresh word as he comes before your people, Lord God. Father, we pray tonight, to this afternoon, Lord Jesus, that we receive the word with gladness. And Father God, as we go during the course of the week, we will be reminded uh, when circumstances and challenges come our way, to be holy. Oh, for I am holy. Again, Lord, we thank you for your people, Lord God, who taught it not robbery, but would press their way, Lord Jesus, uh, knowing that they have an obligation that you said we should not uh, forsake the assembling of brethren together, Lord. Uh, so, Father, we press our way to come and join, oh God, with others, Lord, uh, to lift you up, Lord Jesus. Lord, we thank you. God, for those that are struggling, Lord Jesus, uh, Oh, God, we continue to pray for them, Lord God. Pray for them. 
Ah, Jesus, Lord, that you minister to their spirit the importance of coming out to your house to worship you. Lord, have your way. I thank you that you are a forgiving God. Oh, God, and that we put nothing before you <laughs> because you're also a jealous God. Father, we bless you, we praise you, and we give you thanks for joining us together in Jesus' mighty name. And God, as we're leaving this place this afternoon, uh, but not from your presence, we ask the Lord to cover us, Lord God, uh, to keep us again, Lord God, as you have always been doing, Lord. Uh, many of us have been going through one thing or the other, but Lord, uh, you said, yea, though we walk through, Lord. The valley of the shadow of death, Lord, will fear no evil. For God, we thank you that your rod and your staff, they comfort us, Lord. God, you're with us, Lord God. Hallelujah. During the good times and the bad times, Lord, let us be reminded, oh God, that you never leave us. You never leave us. You never leave us, oh God. During the difficult times, Lord. We will find strength in you. Father, bless your people. Strengthen them, O oh God. Make a way for them. Open up doors for them. And Father God, as we shall return like this, O oh God, the next time we will come in giving you praise and glory because we know that you are a good, good God and you never fail us. And we said, no one to him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless uh, before his presence with exceeding glory to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power from now and henceforth. And let all God's people say, Amen, 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 Amen. May God bless you. Thank you for fellowshipping with us. Amen. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Uh, hallelujah. God bless you. You have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Hallelujah. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Oh, let the church say amen. Let the church the Lord. Praise the Lord, saints. Saints, may I have your attention? May I have your attention, Matthew? Bring it down. May I have your attention just quickly? Uh, Sister Sandra has been with us uh, for what? Several weeks. And we enjoyed having her. We enjoy her presence. What? What? But she's leaving us. She's going to be going 
she's stopping off in Brooklyn on tomorrow, and then from there she spent a few days, and then off back to St. Vincent. So we want to pray with her. We want to send her off with our blessings. Oh my goodness, we just heard that you had a you celebrated a birthday recently. <laughs> well, we're going to do both. We're going to do both. <laughs> we're going to do both. But I just want you, church, don't, 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 just don't take this lightly. May I have your undivided attention. We always do this with our people and for those that visit with us. We want God to go with you, to, to prosper you. Matter of fact, you have been a blessing. Your presence has just been a blessing with us. And we would be less than servants of God if we would just let you slip out without us praying with you and letting you know how much we appreciate your being with us. Amen. So we're going to ask you just to join us. Stretch your hands if you may. Towards, so it's like you putting your hands on her and believing God to bless her. Father God, today, this afternoon, we are so delighted and grateful that our sister Sandra has seen fit to be with us. We've enjoyed having her. We have enjoyed her presence, her radiance. We have enjoyed her company. And it saddens us that she's leaving us this soon, but we understand that she has responsibilities back home. And so, Father, we want to ask of you that you would go before her, that you would protect her. We pray that, God, the time that she spent with us, that we have been a blessing and we have deposited something in her, that would sustain her, that she would remember that her, her commitment to Christ would be deepened, would be strengthened, that she would be the person that she has been and been enriched with your presence, emboldened and encouraged. Now, Lord, we pray that you would let your covering the blessed Holy Spirit go before her strengthen her may our life radiate the presence of God the love and peace and gentleness of your presence oh God thank you that she would return with safety. God, in the name of your son, Jesus, keep her. And should Jesus tarry, and if it be your will that she come by this way again, we will be delighted to have her. Not just as a visitor, but as a part of us. We thank you and we love you. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion and fellowship of God's Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide with you both now and always. Let the church say amen. 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 Birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.